No such thing as an insignificant Chelsea-Liverpool match, but by any standards, this feels big. Good Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea. to Liverpool! <laughs> hey, to both of you. Daniel, may we be the first to give you a proper welcome to England and our glorious game of football. Oh. Thank you, guys. It's actually been a really tough season to be a fan of American football, so... Oh, come on. I bet it can't be that bad. Uh, um, it, it's, uh... Well, off the ball, it has it all, including a group of men who love to have a good time on and off the pitch. Ah. What about your American footballers, Dan? I bet they love their liquor and their women. <coughs> Come on, Daniel. Tell us your most fun story about a group of American footballers carousing around town. <coughs> Man, they're... Are, are like so many. Well, I'll never forget the night I went out with David Beckham. Gent bought everyone in the pub three rounds and then kissed us all on the neck. The next day, he woke up in midfield and scored the equalizer against Everton. Oh, well, one time I was out with Wayne Rooney and he took so many pints to the melee and he was seeing six goalkeepers the next day and he beat them all. Well, speaking of beating, one of our boys, Greg Hardy, did a... Well, Frank Lampard played an entire Governor's Cup match with two bar tab receipts stapled to his head. He totally killed it. Oh, well, one of our kooky cats named Aaron Hernandez killed his... I can't play this game. Okay. Join me in a chorus, yeah? Ah. There once was a gent named Liam Brady. Who made a nice bed for every lady. And any old maid who'd call men crazy. Adrian Peterson whipped a kid with a stick. Jesus Daniel, Christ, what are you Daniel. Doing? I thought if I sang it, it would sound good. It didn't. Uh, uh, everything you're saying is horrible crime. No, no, actually, the last one's just like a southern cultural tradition. Okay, you know what? That's not an excuse. Come on, Daniel. There, there must be someone that you Americans are proud of. Okay, the best quarterback in league history is a Trump supporter. The worst quarterback in league history just went to Vegas with a blonde wig disguise. Jason Pierre-Paul blew off his hands with fireworks. Bill Belichick blew his sleeves off with his mind. Ray Rice beat his wife on video. Everyone else beat their wives not on video. Antonio Brown pooped a balloon. And Antonio Cromartie got a woman pregnant with a vasectomy. Ben Roethlisberger gave my grandma the shocker. Yup. Rob Gronkowski ate a bear trap. Richie Incognito ate a German Spaniel. Roger Goodell canceled Christmas. There's an actual goddamn team called the Redskins. Redskins. Are you all trashing American football players? They kind of trash themselves. Well, why? Oh, they're so nice. Uh, listen, one time an American NFL player came into this here bar. He was saying how he had something really exciting to give to his wife. It was so sweet, he was all shaking and nervous. I thought he was going to cry. Does that sound like a bad bloke to you? Did you catch his name? Yeah, it was, um, O.J. Simpson. Should, Should we, we tell her? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Sort of Best Friends. Has an NFL player ever threatened you? Sound off in the comments. Happy, Happy Super, Super Bowl! Bowl! Happy Super Bowl. Go to Sports.